let's uh we're gonna forward hair a lot. You bring the snacks? I didn't bring any. Popcorn is being made Ooh, as we speak. Hopefully. Alright. Leading off with the spot bomb for game one on Final Destination. And it's probably gonna be one of the moves we see a lot out of numbers. Just yeah. because it's gonna threaten a decent amount of space with very little commitment so long as numbers keeps his ink in mind. And the bigger reason is that if the splat bomb is out next to Olimar, he kinda like has to shield or run away, and when he's shielding or running away, he's not throwing Pikmin at you. So very big deal to get that out. Also, Igling ledge trapping insane. Olimar's ledge game not too not too strong. Right, he's definitely a lot more combo heavy for the staying on the ground. He can control ground and center stage mm -hmm. by association really well. But once we take that battle to the skies, I feel like uh, Numbers is going to be able to keep it a lot more even of a battle. Yeah, uh, Inkling really good at putting characters in the corner. All of them are really weak in the corner. So uh, that seems bad about this, but pretty even match right now. Yeah, one thing I just want to bring up really quickly, which is a huge adaptation from the last time I saw Numbers play this character, he's put a lot more usage from Short Hop in there, both to threaten space from Omar, and then more matchups specifically to eliminate Pikmin really quick. Is that going to be it? Yeah. yeah. Numbers yeah. finally up smashing out of his rollers. The first two weeks of the game, he would only use S-Smash. It's like, bro, what are you doing? Just up smash The move's broken. Especially on this <laughs> stage, considering it has a little bit wider of the blast zones, but it has a shorter ceiling it than does. most. Yes, it does. And I trust you. I know you definitely know your. You've shown me. You have them right there. I got the notes. You're gonna pull it out. You've shown me them. So uh, if you have any questions about stage size in this game, you definitely hit up Hangman. He is knowledgeable. Knows what is good. Uh, Numbie's cooking right now. I like the fact that a lot of his combos aren't even like the super like optimal stuff. It's just that he knows that Ray is gonna try to stick close to the ground. So he's going for a lot of the options that are more specific to the ground. And that's why he's running away with such a strong lead. He's also running away with a strong lead with his 100 IQ plays of rolling into my opponent. <laughs> he has to tech. Like, what are you going to do? Yeah. It's... Look, at I love that grenade right there to make his approach back onto the stage so safe. You force Olimar to stay well. Oh, wow. What? Did he just fade into the blast zone? Yeah, I think he tried to go for an option that put him a little bit backwards. I guess, right? No. Numbers is rolling right now, dude. I, I don't like the... Just the, the blank roller. There's no reason to go for it. I mean, yeah, he went right for the jab, which would be a good early percentage follow-up because you get OD pain on someone with, like, no effort. But if Ray's not pressured into a situation where he must deal with roller, he's going to have options. Like, this is Olimar. He's still able to jump and escape quickly. Kind of. Olimar does not like to be in the air. Right. Mostly because when he's in the air, like, he can't throw out a smash and side B as well. True. So, uh... It's one of those things where it's like, yeah, it might not be on Omar's terms, but it's more important that it's not on Numbies' terms. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> you're saying Numbies now too, bro? Yeah. It's too catchy. It is. It rolls off the tongue. It does. Always in number. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Devin3000. Yeah, Numbers definitely. The lame game starts now. Numbers is like, I'm not coming anywhere near you. You approach me. I'm just going to throw some nades at you. Look at that. To avoid the, the nade right there, he upbeat, actually. Because you do not want to be in any... That controls the stage so well. So well. Actually, one little factor about this matchup I didn't take into consideration. Even if Numbers fails to uh, land the splat roller for the berry, the fact that the egg slows down right on the when he runs over the paint, it's going to make Ray's more aggressive moves a lot less of a worry because Olimar's not particularly fast on the ground, and he doesn't cover that much room when he dashes. He doesn't. You're right. And another thing, which might is like the Yomi level further than that, if you have ink on the ground, Olimar, like he's in the corner right here, he's going to have to give up grounds to keep up his pressure, like his numbers moves forward. He runs away a lot slower when that ink's going there. So yes. numbers going to be able to get... He's just going to end it right there. doesn't matter. Numbers rolling his way through the first game, quite literally. I think that was more towards just the fact that Numbers played the, the matchup really smart. He did. Um, I'm curious to see how Ray changes things up for game two, because despite the fact that he could just switch to Palutena, I, I feel think like, we're going to see that. I feel like the fact that it was FD was what really hurt. I don't know. Olimar, I don't think he cares about platforms that much. And in fact, platforms usually hurt. The, he likes playing ground. Are you showing us all the roller kills, then? <laughs> Roll it. You're making the numbers combo <laughs> video right now. <laughs> you're making you're making the combo video right now. Oh, what's going on? MLG right 420 now. Numbies combo video. <laughs> Sick roller plays. The Numbies. Just <laughs> just put like the hit marker noise every time it carries. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the Doritos come on the screen yeah. of the mouth and do his. Bring up the low res <laughs> rifle whenever he goes for the forward spin. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, 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 he up smashes and it scoops him up and it zooms in on the head. I love it. It's too powerful. Uh, Palutena. Oh, Palutena. Looking like better options. Zero to death. Ray showing us that he can schmooze. This was the uh, the top tier I saw him playing the most when it came to like early practice. So I'm not surprised that he's able to move well with Palutena, but that was just aggressive and rude. It was. He just walked off and, you know, he's like, Numbers numbers likes to stall off stage with Inkling a lot. He'll go down there and he'll do, like, the roll cancel jump. Does Inkling wall jump? I don't know. Uh, she does. Not okay. a good one, though. But she has one. Okay, so, and he'll do that and then he'll up. What numbers? What are you doing? He's a man, man. I mean, Super Jump does have a hitbox on it landing. It does, yeah. And on, at the one. end, too, it has one, right? Yeah, on startup and on the land, it's got one. doesn't have one on the squid itself, but not, nonetheless, weird option. The slant right there, look, slant, the back air missed because of the slant downwards. It wouldn't hit landing. Evil. Uh, he, he's hungry for it, dude. Yeah. He saw it once, he tasted blood. He's a great white. <laughs> Ray's neutral game also is a lot stronger. Like, when he's playing Olimar, he seems so focused on, like, I guess Alomar has to do this in general, but like it's like I need to stay back. I can't pressure him. I need to throw these Pikmin. It's the only way I'm going to do it. At numbers, cool, calm, and calculated. Isn't going to get thrown off by a bunch of things flying at him. He's yeah. very used to that. Yeah, I think it's also the fact that Palutena is able to get away with a lot more. Like even though Olimar has a really strong advantage state right now, yeah. um, he can't just like put out a ton of stuff willy nilly. Like he's got to keep in mind the Pikmin that he has, the order of them, depending on what he wants to get away with. If he loses them, he's got to keep that in mind. Palutena doesn't have to worry about that. She's got her shield. She's got explosive flame. What more do you need in life? Wow, I feel okay. So you're saying that Alomar has to think too much. He's able to just turn off his brain and mesh? Oh, uh, Is that what it comes down to right here? Uh, I don't know about all that. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. But say, for instance, Palutena wants to hit that big green button. She definitely can. can, yeah. And Numbers finds himself down right here. But, uh... I don't. He's gonna find down on a whole stock now. I don't know what numbers really does. Inkling, kind of similar to Diddy in Smash 4. She doesn't do a crazy amount of damage as he does 30 with roller grenade. <laughs> but uh, she kind of. She's like a skip neutral character. She has Diddy Kong fair. She has Diddy Kong back air. An even better neutral air. Uh, numbers cannot up throw up air, which I think everyone should know. He cannot do it. He says it's fake. We know it's real. Yeah. Bad DI evens it up. Numbers right back in it. Don't listen to me, ever. <laughs> I'm a liar. I think it's just the fact that, like, Numbers has to be smart about what he what he uses to approach. Because one thing I want to bring he hasn't used uh, Splatter Shot, the neutral B, once. This whole it's set. Bad. You, it, it's not that great. Like, like Ray knows. He's, oh, I could just jump over this yeah. there. Like, he's not a dumb player. That, that's, like, the day one. Like, why can't I run through the, the ink? Well, he's been using a lot more spot bomb for the sake of just contesting aerial space. It does. The the the, the pressure that creates in like for Inkling to approach, it's it just kind of wins neutral for Inkling. You do that, but uh, the trick is when she throws the bomb, you just kind of jump over it and run forward. Make sure uh, Inkling doesn't get a chance to set up her insane like approach game with the grenade. I like how Ray keeps on forcing these air dodges with the explosive flame. He knows it's not going to land. He knows Numbers is smart enough to recognize Yeah, it forces him low. Uh, if Numbers gets caught slipping, set up a down air like he did on the first stock. But uh, finds it with the back air. Classic Palutena. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, yes, of course, we're going to Moray Towers. I love it. Numbers, numbers likes his home field advantage. Which song does he pick? That's the most important part. They all sound the same, dude. You're supposed to... <laughs> There's a few that are really good. I'm actually... I, I was talking with um, with Hero King about this earlier. About how I'm actually pretty disappointed with the music they chose for Splatoon. Because it has some really good music. I heard some good songs from... I like the song they had in, in the trailer for the DLC. Yeah, that was what it I was, was really good. surprised. Yeah. Was that in the game? I'm not sure. I don't really yeah, know. Yeah, it's, it's in the game. Oh, cool. But, I enjoyed that one, yeah. But it's not in this game. Which is a big shame. Nonetheless, we're going to the Oh, it's not in this game, it's in Splatoon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in Smash. I don't care if it's in Splatoon, bro. I've never played Splatoon. Good game. Kind of fun. But, um, nonetheless, we're on the FD variant of Moray Towers, and I'm not sure why. He does it again, the man. man. Give me the hot remix. Numbers looking down at his controller. He is discontent with what's going on. I'd be too. Uh, 
Well, that's just good on Ray recognizing numbers habits. If you've watched him, you know he's always going to go low like that. And uh, Inkling, while they do have a hitbox on the start and on the end of their up B, is definitely punchable if you catch them early enough or in the middle of it. Most definitely. So, good on Ray, showing us what's good. And I think Ray caught on early on how John is using Splat Bomb to uh, to mix up his approaches, or at least make some things more safe. And Ray doesn't care. Numbers is gonna go super low now, but oh look at that! That was really impressive, that two frame. Uh Inkling almost impossible to two frame because she snaps from like 30 yeah, character lengths away. Yeah, she's got OG magnet hands. It's like she stole everyone's magnet hands. Yeah, she <laughs> collected them all into one DLC privilege character. Inkling's definitely oh, run out of ink! Oh no! Poor Numbies, how's he gonna do anything now? He yeah. can't play neutral. No, he's actually hitting himself over this one. Like, I saw as soon as that Rapid Jab faltered out, like, John had some sort of reaction. Back here? Oh, he's, he's not going to find it. He's tight. He can't do anything. His neutral game, he can't just throw the grenade right now and put up. So good by Ray. Ray, such a huge lead right now. Numbers tilted out of his mind. It's almost nothing he can do, it looks like. Just rolling into him. Yeah, I... I say I hate to see it happen, but Ray is just playing it out really well. Yeah. No, did it again. The hitbox is too long. Okay. I wonder how he's getting that. I guess he has to be a certain speed. Okay, he was going for another spike. Numbers finally gets back, has some ink. We're going to get these ledge setups, but is it too late for him to do anything? I think it's just like Numbers is working off of the SD. Like, yeah. Big SD. Ray a little bit greedy. Numbers, a glimmer of hope for him in this game three situation. He says he eats two forward airs. Plenty more percent than he really needs to at this point. Like, Numbers needs to play the super camp. But he's running in, and he's trying to get something going. He kind of has to run in. There is four and a half minutes left, but he can't just sit there and throw grenades. Like, it's not going to do anything for him. But Inkling uh, definitely makes some comebacks happen. It's hard to get Palutena. You can't really edgeguard her. Teleports really do make it back for free in this game. Yeah. I think more specifically, um, Palutena's... Just because even if she goes for the high recovery, the fact that it makes her somewhat lighter will, uh, or rather faster. It used to be called lightweight when it was a custom. Anyways, yeah. uh, it, it makes her recovery from high like even better. Yeah, well, you can't two frame uh, teleports from above the ledge. So, literally impossible to edge yeah. her, actually. Yes. She's gonna, is that Nair gonna do it? Is he gonna SD? No. The sides of that stage work, I guess. Oh, that's going to be the stock. So Numbers actually in a spot to take it. If uh, Palu can struggle to kill sometimes. Uh, Especially if Numbers is like super aware of where he needs to be. Ray's definitely playing Shook right now. He is not. Before he was pressuring Numbers super hard. Oh, that was unfortunate. Didn't grab. But he's pressuring Numbers super hard and neutral. Forcing him to the ledge right away. And then using his amazing reactions and his character strengths to keep him there. And that is not happening right now. Yeah, honestly, whoever loses this match is going to end up super tight because Numbers is making an amazing run back right now. But Ray's been playing really well up to this point. I think that SD rattled him a little too hard. It might have, yeah. We're going to get a possible offstage situation. So Ray back into his mix. Before, he was going for these really greedy options with the downers offstage instead of just ledge trapping. It might come back to haunt him. That was cool. Ooh. I like that. Made a lot of noise. Oh, oh no! no. Already right, dashed attack. He didn't have time. Smart on Numbers. And right now, we're, it's dead even, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, roller will kill. Roller leading into any smash attack is going to get it down. Also, for what it's worth, but actually, no, with the Rage, I think he's out of up throw uh, up air. Numbers right. doesn't do up throw up air. I know he can't do it, but he for is, what it's worth. Yeah. This might actually, I don't know the percents, but the percents are numbers with the... <gasps> no! Put that one in the combo video, boys. That was spicy. He actually just hit Ray with, like, the day one for glory. Talk to it's a raw! Yo! <laughs> oh no! Ray just dropped out of bracket, bro. Uh, he is running home. Oh, he jumped out the second no. story window, bro. <laughs> Suicide worthy, man. Oh, oh my god. Oh no! That looks so bad. No! Booyah, booyah, booyah! <laughs> <laughs> Send help! Send help! Oh, Lord.